We grow probably upwards of 52 varieties of fresh fruits and vegetables. You name it, if you can eat it, we've probably grown it at some point in time. <laughs> One of the challenges for beginning sustainable farmers in our area is there's a lack of inputs. So if you're trying to either grow certified naturally grown or organic, finding organic seedling starting mix is about impossible. There's a garden calendar that talks about fresh fruits and vegetables in Alabama, our vegetables primarily and when to plant them. And we use that both in our own planting plans as well as we share that with the community. We're in contact with Gary. Yes. Um, a lot and we and Kevin has helped us with finance stuff and, and Lee McBride is our main contact and we are in touch with him at least once a month if not a few times a month. Uh, he's mainly helped trying to find a community of farmers to get information from. He's an excellent sounding board. He helps yeah. us sort of think through you know because I will have a harebrained scheme pretty much every single day and he <laughs> usually goes, okay, now let's think about this. <laughs> we have attended several extension sponsored classes. We never fail to go to something if we hear about it. We have both completed the uh, New and Beginning Farmers class online. We use the extension website extensively for research. Having uh, someone in a technical assistance arena to be able to tell you about different things like markets and things that, that you don't know. This year we did a lot better with the weed control and insect yes. control and especially with Dr. A coming out and helping us out. So we did a lot better with our yes. tomatoes and cucumbers and squash yes, this year. Things have improved. We did produce more. We uh, were able to get more out of the small area that we farm on.